Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Build of the Week is a weekly video series that showcases interesting character builds created by Path of Exile community members. One of the long-term goals for a seasoned Path of Exile player is to kill Adzeri, Queen of the Val. Her area is difficult and players require very good items to be able to handle the dangerous monsters and bosses that it contains. The build we're demonstrating this week was created by prolific build maker Raze and has become an increasingly popular way for players to handle the specialized content without needing to spend dozens of exalted orbs on their gear. The build's main damage skill is Incinerate, supported by added cold damage, spell echo, faster casting, fire penetration, and greater multiple projectiles. Against regular monsters, it's possible to swap in the faster projectile support gem instead of added cold damage, because it substantially increases the area incinerated. In addition to Incinerate, the build uses Righteous Fire, supported by concentrated effect, increased area of effect, and increased burning damage. Righteous Fire performs two key functions for this build. It heavily damages monsters next to you and provides a large multiplicative spell damage boost. The tricky thing is its drawback. It constantly inflicts a lot of fire damage on you until you're reduced to one life. Many Path of Exile builds, including this one, go to substantial lengths to pile on life regeneration and maximum fire resistance until they are at equilibrium with the righteous fire damage. The easiest way is with the purity of fire aura, but many other items and skills are needed to overcome the constant fire damage. The Rise of the Phoenix unique shield is important for this build. While the low life bonuses aren't used on this character, the item still provides a huge amount of fire resistance and maximum fire resistance. It also grants flat life regeneration, which is normally classed as a bit of a junk mod. However, on this build, the life regeneration on the shield and these boots is crucial to reaching equilibrium with Righteous Fire. Elrion's ring mod is very useful because it drops the mana cost of Incinerate from 35 to 27, which allows it to be sustained indefinitely. We're quite impressed with this ring. It was crafted all the way from one mod up to what you see here. The Ruby Flask is important because it pushes your maximum fire resistance over 100% for a while. In addition to making you immune to fire damage, the full force of your life regeneration will kick in. Topaz Flasks are a good idea for Atziri farming because of the amount of lightning damage in her area. On the passive tree, this build has allocated a lot of life and life regeneration. The Barbarism passive is very powerful because it also provides maximum fire resistance. Inner Force is important because it increases the maximum fire resistance you gain from your Purity of Fire aura. It also amplifies Righteous Fire itself. The Fire Damage passives were allocated later than most other skills. It's impressive how much damage this build does with very few damage passives. The Flask passives are important because they provide a boost to the effects of both Topaz and Ruby Flasks. This version of the build uses Eldritch Battery for mana and because it synergizes with Mind Over Matter provided by the Cloak of Defiance unique armor. Compared to the typical Atzeri farming build, putting this character together is relatively inexpensive. The rising popularity of this build has put some pressure on the price of Rise of the Phoenix, but it's certainly not one of the rarest unique items. For players on an extreme budget, there are variations of this build that don't even use Rise of the Phoenix. The build's creator has described one of these variations in his build guide. Once you're able to kill Atzeri, you can start a path of aggressive upgrading. For example, one of the uniques that Atzeri can drop is Doyani's Catalyst, which this build uses. This results in an instant power upgrade once it drops for you after a period of Atzeri farming. This player has had a build featured in a previous episode of Build of the Week, Season 2, Episode 6. Prolific build authors such as Raze contribute many interesting and powerful builds to the community. If you'd like to submit a build for next week's episode, just post a build guide in the class forums on pathofexile.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.